No, Sam, wait. Don't let her see us like this. Well, I'm glad you come to your senses, Ivy, but it's a little too late. She saw us. She knows we're in here. She's waiting for me to come back to her. No, she isn't. What are you talking about? You heard her. But you don't hear her now. No. It's quieter now. Yeah. She's probably out of it. She's probably gone back to bed. Out of it? I, um, I put something in her dessert just to make her sleep. You what? What the hell did you do to my wife? Sam, you're hurting me. You drugged her? I can't believe you did something like this. It was a harmless drug, Sam. Just that and the champagne. I thought she'd sleep all night. It won't hurt her. Well, it better not. Or I swear I'll have you up on charges. Calm down, Sam. Grace is fine. I can't believe you stooped so low. Don't you get it? It has been so many years since I felt your touch that I needed to be with you. Oh, my God. My poor Grace. She, she didn't do anything to anyone. Such a good person. She's she's the best person in the whole world. I mean, she couldn't even think to do something like this. Oh, fine. I am not the saint that Grace is. Oh, you sure as hell are not. You don't know what Grace has gone through, what she's suffered. And I don't think it's fair that she should have to go through any more grief in her life. Well, what about me? What about all the years I have had to spend in a loveless marriage? Uh, it's not my fault. And it definitely isn't Grace's. Now, I'm going to go in there and tell her. No, Sam, don't tell her. Why not? Ivy, you were so eager to, s to have her see us here standing here naked. Yeah, well, I'm thinking with a little clearer head right now. Thought about what you said, and you're right about our families. It would be a tragedy for everyone concerned. Well, certainly Julian doesn't have to know, or anyone else. But I'm not going to lie to Grace anymore. I only did it to protect her. And now I realize she deserves my honesty. <laughs> what if your marriage isn't strong enough to survive this? What if Grace doesn't forgive you for not telling her sooner? Well, hopefully she does forgive me. And hopefully our marriage is strong enough to last. Well, what if it isn't? What if she divorces you and the scandal goes public? You'll lose your career. My father-in-law will make sure that you're fired as chief of police. And what about your family? What about your children, huh? Are you willing to sacrifice their happiness just so you can have a clear conscience and confess? I don't get it, Ivy. I mean, you wanted Grace to know everything. I mean, why the change of heart? I thought about what you said, and you're right. I can't let anything ruin Ethan's future. He's the most important thing in my life. Why is Ethan your main concern? I mean, you have other children. I mean, don't they matter? I mean, why is Ethan the most important thing in your life? I have my reasons. Well, whatever they are, you keep them to yourself. I don't give a damn about Ethan. The only person I care about is Grace. Now, don't you dare go near her again. And don't you dare go through this door. I love you, Sam. And I still want you. And so 
somehow, some way, I will have you.